Hey guys, so I picked up a new pool for the yard. It's a Summer Waves. It's called an Elite. It's uh, 14 feet in diameter and it's uh, 42 inches deep. So the next step is to actually uh, get a spot all leveled for the new pool. So this is an area where I used to have my trampoline. So what I want to do is level this area, put some nice mulch around the pool when the pool is all set up in the center, edge the uh, grass and then I have some patio lights to go up and around it which should uh, look nice. I'm going to show you a little tip on actually how to uh, level your ground for a small above ground pool though. It's uh, hard to uh, do it by eye so I'll show you a little tip on how to do it. What you're going to need is a 2x4. This is a 10 foot. Secondly I have a long level. This is a 4 foot or 48 inch level. And then you're going to need a uh, drill and I have a half inch drill bit and then a uh, long spike and I'll show you what that's for. So the first thing you're wanted, gonna wanna do is drill a hole and this is a 10 foot two by four so I'm gonna go down roughly two feet and I'm gonna drill a hole right here and you wanna make sure you go straight down right through the center you don't want to be on an angle with your drill, you got to make sure you're dead center when you're doing this. Alright, so I got the hole drilled, it's nice and center. So the next step you're going to want to do is take your level Put it in roughly the center of your 2x4 and you're going to want to uh, tie it on, tape it on. I'm actually going to use some uh, plastic uh, cable ties to uh, secure it. You want your stake dead center of where the pool is going to be at. So you want to bang that into the ground. There we go. And what that's going to do is secure this end of the uh, two by four. All right, so we're ready to go. And what the idea is with this, and it's quite simple, is you're going to rotate the outer end of the two by four. And when you're rotating it, what you want to do is look at your level in the center, and you want to keep your little little level ball right in the center. And when you're spinning the uh, 2x4 around, you want to either remove some material or add some material. So you're going to be constantly just moving it probably a couple inches at a time, leveling the ground as you go. And when you're uh, moving the uh, 2x4 right now, it's pretty level. But as you can see, underneath the level, almost out towards the end, there's a few low spots. So you're going to want to fill in all those spots and continuously move the uh, 2x4 or rotate it around until you've uh, done a complete 360. Just a little tip, what I find works easier, obviously uh, sand would make it a lot easier. I don't have uh, access to sand right now. So what I'm going to do behind the 2x4 is I'm actually going to rake some loose uh, dirt and gravel behind it. So when I'm spinning the uh, 2x4 around, if there's any low spots, or high spots, it's almost like a, a grading effect when you're uh, rotating the 2x4. So I'm just going to put some uh, loose debris behind it and then we'll uh, st slowly start spinning it. And again you want to keep an eye on your uh, level and if you find it's high on one end or low on an end, adjust it accordingly and you're doing all your adjusting from the outer end of the 2x4 that's why the uh, center is fixed with a big spike and I'm going to spin this around slowly and again you're going to add or take away material as required. And as you can see it's really just uh, grading the uh, ground. And again, what you got to keep an eye out on is the uh, low spots. 
can see I'm going to start getting a little low spot right here. Just put a little more material up against it and keep Alright, so I've uh, gone around a few times. I ended up having to add a lot of uh, material on this end. So I'll probably go down and uh, get it around maybe one or two more times. It's probably a couple millimeters higher on this end, but when you have 13,000 liters in a little pool, a couple millimeters means it's uh, going to lean quite a bit. And let's take a look. You can see the uh, circle marks from me going around. So once you're done this, um, you want to make sure that this is packed down really nice. And what I'm going to do after that is I have landscape fabric I'm going to put down all around here. And then I've got a couple blue tarps. I'm going to put that down before I put the pool down. That way it protects it. Uh, again, this is gravel. It's not super sharp, but there are some sharp edges. So I want to make sure the uh, tarp takes uh, most of the uh, impact and not the uh, pool itself. Anyways, guys, it's just a short video on how to uh, level an area for a pool. I hope this helps. Again, when you're going around, one tip. Make sure your spikes always staying in and nice and secured. And certainly keep an eye on your level and make sure there's no gaps when you're going around. And uh, once you're done, make sure it's nice and compacted. And another thing too, when I'm going around, I added about another foot and a half, which would be uh, another foot and a half in diameter. So it would make this almost a 17 foot circle instead of a 14 I'd sooner have a little bit of a flat base on the outside of the pool too Hope this helps if you have any questions or comments Post them below if not uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, do a quick video down the road in the next couple days of the uh, pool getting set up. Thanks for watching